what BBC Worldwide's strategy for digital distribution, um, generally speaking, is try everything. Um, we've historically, uh, our businesses have been built on our legacy businesses, which are uh, a sales and distribution business in Australia. That's selling TV content to 7, 9, 10, the ABC, um, as well as running our own channels over here. So we have four channels in Australia and three in New Zealand. Our digital strategy is to try and build on those existing businesses and create new revenue streams by um, trying to distribute our content as broadly as possible on the new and emerging digital platforms. And we have a variety of reasons for trying to do that. Obviously, um, to new revenue streams from distributing the content anyway. Um, but also, I think one of the key parts that, that digital distribution allows us, one of the key uh, new opportunities, is um, when we're delivering direct to the consumer over personalised devices, uh, it allows us to start a conversation. With the, with the consumer that has not been possible before through, um, through the uh, traditional linear broadcast platforms. So what lessons can Australia learn from what uh, the BBC is doing in the UK with the BBC iPlayer? Um, BBC in the UK being a public service company and uh, receiving its money through the licence fee um, has a, a remit to inform, educate and entertain. So they're, they're non-commercial, they're simply um, getting this fantastic content that they create out there in as many ways as possible. Um, and that means, as well as being probably the most successful video player in the world, the BBC iPlayer is also in many ways the purest. So they're, they're not driven by a commercial remit, they are really driven by what does the customer want and what is the best way to serve the customer. And that creates a fantastic opportunity for us because they are very, very uh, data-driven and analytics-driven and they really understand what the consumer wants and how they want to consume content. So the iPlayer in the UK in January of this year did was doing around 10 million streams a day. So that's you know, three and a half billion, UK billion streams a year. And that's a, a fantastic amount of video content being distributed that we can learn from. And what we can learn from that is um, what people are watching, when they're watching, and where they're watching as well. Um, and all those things are, are really, really important. Um, that is a non-subscription service, but um, outside of the UK, through potentially running our own video platforms as we have done with, with the trial of the global iPlayer, our own subscription video on demand platforms, we can not only learn the, the what, when and where but also the who. So we can learn who is watching because they're subscribing to the content and what they're watching, where they're watching, when they're watching. And when we can start to gather that information about our fans, our viewers, that gives us the opportunity to uh, start that conversation with them and talk to them about things that we know interest them. So if they are watching lots and lots of episodes of Doctor Who on the um, on the global iPlayer, then there's a pretty good chance they're interested in Doctor Who. And so if we are running an event at the Opera House like the Doctor Who Symphonic Spectacular, then that's a good chance to communicate that event to those, those people and uh, involve them, try and get them to buy tickets and so on. So it doesn't just create the subscription revenue stream, it allows us to build on other revenue streams as well. Um, why is it important for the BBC to have a direct relationship with customers? Well, for BBC Worldwide, I really think it is um, about continuing to engage customers and continuing to develop those new revenue streams that I talked about earlier. The opportunity that digital distribution allows is going to be a key part of driving that new revenue. And that's not just our own um, necessarily subscription VOD platform or our own VOD platform of any form. It's working with partners, it's working with people like QuickFlix, with the ABC, um, anybody who's distributing content um, to direct to consumers and I think the whole industry has got to start to look at, at new revenue models around that um, and, and the value of the data that that might provide. Um, I don't think this has been done in Australia or necessarily anywhere else but there, there will probably get to a point where some content 
we might consider sharing with um, someone like the ABC on iView if in return they're giving us data on the viewers and consumers. So I think we've got to start thinking about um, new methods of distribution and new ways of, of monetizing that distribution. Another obvious area of that is, is advertising and we don't underestimate the power of advertising video on demand either. Um, the, the traditional interruption model of, of linear TV isn't the case in, in uh, video on demand advertising so the adverts can be far more targeted, uh, far more relevant to the consumer and actually um, better, uh, higher quality advertising. So there are lots and lots of new revenue streams that can be developed out of uh, building this direct relationship with the consumer and that's one of the key reasons for us um, wanting to develop our own services and to work with people like YouTube, um, the free to airs and so on in, in distributing content. So what are our, our plans for Australia and New Zealand? Um, in the broadest sense it is to try everything. Um, so we've, we've been running a, our own subscription video on demand service, not just in Australia and New Zealand, but BBC Worldwide throughout, um, throughout the world called Global iPlayer, um, only on the iOS platform to date. Um, and we've learned a lot from that and it's been very, very interesting. So we will continue to look at um, a subscription VOD service and the possibility of rolling that out. Um, but equally, we want to try everything else as well. So we're working with various partners in Territory about distributing our content on, on their VOD platforms. Um, we are looking at AVOD models. We certainly want to utilise the power of, of BBC.com and um, the um, BBC's website that has a significant audience um, and we certainly want to work with partners like Google um, for YouTube, Chromecast, uh, like Apple um, and all the other content distribution people over here. So our, our, our policy really, our strategy is try everything, see what works best for us. It isn't just necessarily about making money or selling content, it is about creating that dialogue with the consumer and allowing that dialogue to help us to cross market other things as well which might be merchandise, might be live events, might be DVDs, might be um, uh, EST, um, video on demand, cloud storage and so on.